Hi there, Annie here from Uplifting Studios TV and welcome to the very first episode and today we'll be talking about all things self-limiting beliefs. What are self-limiting beliefs? What can we do to free ourselves from self-limiting beliefs and I'll also be sharing my personal story of how a self-limiting belief uh, got the better of me and almost stopped me completely from living the life that I am living today. So let's get started. What are self-limiting beliefs? They are thoughts that uh, come into our minds that stop us from fulfilling a goal or a dream that we have. Uh, they're thoughts that tell us we are less than who we think we are. Thoughts that tell us that we are not good enough, we are not smart enough, we are not connected enough, um, we don't have enough resources to help us get to that level that we want to get to. Um, comparison uh, that somebody else is better, um, overwhelm that um, you, you possibly cannot, um, you lack the courage, you, you have so much fear in you, um, confidence is, 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 is shaken, uh, self-doubt, um, negative self-talk, just talking to yourself negatively and saying I could never be that or um, you know I'm this or the history um, that you have with your in your past or your family history as well plays a role in um, stopping you from, you know, really living the life that you've been called to live. So that's how self-limiting beliefs show up. They show up as, as thoughts and those voices that, that we hear that um, stop us dead in our tracks in, to pursuing that thing that we, we really want to. Um, and so I really wanted to share my story, my self-limiting belief story, and I have a lot of self-limiting beliefs, but um, over the years I've learned how to silence that voice that um, tries to stop me from living the life that I want to live and how I've been able to show up, even show up in this way on this platform that I've created to be all that I've been created to be. So for me, my story uh, of self-limiting beliefs goes way back to when I was little. And it was in you know a school setting where I experienced quite a lot of bullying. And what I didn't know then was that, you know, little seeds of insecurity were being planted in me, you know, encountering girls who would say, you know, mean things and just that just happening over and over again, you know, from a little girl all the way to, to the end of high school. And that just really had a lot of negative effect on me that I didn't even realize until I came out here to Australia about 20 years ago. And then I was faced with, um, you know, being in a country where there were not many people who looked like me. I came to a place where I was excited to come to Australia, excited for the new change, but just began to, you know, those seeds of insecurity that had been planted early on in my life began to really rear their ugly head. And uh, it just... I started feeling like I was less than, there were not many people who looked like me. Um, we had a, a Kenyan community that I was part of and, and I'm still part of, but um, you know, we would meet on weekends and it was great. But majority of the time being in uni, you know, um, studying, uh, catching public transport, shopping, majority of the time I was on my own. And that's when I really, really felt different and noticed that, um, you know, the one many people who looked like me and you know that began to you know give me a mindset of feeling less than it gave me a mindset of, of really um, of, of feeling like a minority and that I am perhaps not all that I thought that I was and it, it really got to me to the fact that I stopped pursuing a career that I wanted to get into. You see, when I came uh, here, I came to study and I did a degree in mass communication and that was a double major in journalism and public relations. And I got a great opportunity, um, you know, to do some work experience for television, but I never pursued it because 
I never felt like I could succeed in, in, in that area because there was nobody else who looked like me in all the television stations here in Australia. And so I, I just never pursued it. I, I quickly changed directions and took a safer path. Um, and it wasn't until I became a mom, you know, about seven years ago that the idea or, you know, that longing of wanting to uh, be in television and wanting to create a platform that was um, uplifting and inspiring and a place where we could really watch good news stories. My daughter and I at the time, and now I'm a mom of two, just wanting to be surrounded with um, good news stories because what was happening at the time whilst I was on maternity leave, there was just so much negative news, you know, turn on the TV and it was negative news after negative news. And I felt that it was really having a negative effect on me. Um, and I felt that I, I wanted to do something about it. it. It was time that I stopped consuming things that were um, feeding <clears throat> already to um, a mindset that was not doing too good. And I felt like I just needed to consume more good stuff. And so in that journey of trying to discover what can I do, what can I consume, the idea of creating a platform where I could share, you know, good news stories came about. And that I could sit down with my family and we could watch this and we could really be um, inspired and, and, and really chase our dreams and, and live a life of you know, impact and, and, and true purpose. And so that's how this whole, you know, creating positive stories came about. Um, but it certainly took a lot to get there. It took, you know, listening to other people's stories, people who were overcomers, people who were doing great things and focusing really on that positive side of things rather than I am not good enough. I, uh, cannot get these opportunities because um, I look like this or I sound like this and really focusing on, okay, what can I do? What do I have and, and how can I make a difference? And so it, it was a journey um, to get to where I am today. And I believe that, you know, for all of us, it is a journey and it is showing up and just telling yourself positively that this is what you're going to do and taking step by step to take, um, to, to, to drive you forward. And so uh, I want you to head over to my website, upliftingstudios.com.au. Over there, um, I've written a blog a little bit more about self-limiting beliefs and on the website as well you will find a free audio guide that talks you through three steps three steps to unshackle your self-limiting beliefs so head over there and um, read the blog download the um, free audio guide and it will provide you with some really valuable, simple, you know, tips to unshackle your self-limiting beliefs. And drop me a line. Let me know what you think. I'd really, really want to hear from you. And even send me an email if you like. Hello at upliftingstudios.com.au. And I just want to begin to chat with you and, and, and get an understanding of um, how this might be adding value in your life or whatever struggles that you're having as well and um, how we can begin to sort of address that and, and, and begin to give you more tools to really um, set yourself free and live that life that I believe you've been created to live. So head over there to upliftingstudios.com.au and I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, take care.